Hey guys, Mike here and in this clip we're going to run some benchmarks and some speed tests on the Apple iPad Air and some of the older generation iPads. The iPad Air, the iPad 3 and the iPad 4 are all on iOS 7.0.3 while the iPad mini is the only one running iOS 6 because I haven't yet updated it. And as you can see here, all of these aren't running any applications in the background right now. Ok, so let's go ahead and start with the tests. Alright, so as expected, the new iPad is a lot faster than all of the others, as you can see from these numbers. You can see that it's almost twice as fast as the previous generation iPad 4. And the iPad 4 at its turn, it's almost three times as fast as the iPad 3 and the Apple iPad mini. Alright, next we've ran 3 Mark, the latest version of 3 Mark for iOS, and uh, we had the iStorm Unlimited uh, test. And you can see from here that the new iPad scored almost 15,000 points in this particular benchmark, while the previous generation iPad scored 11,000 points, the iPad 3 scored 4,000 points, and the older iPad mini scored about 2,600 points, so it's a lot slower than the previous uh, mentioned ones. The next test is called GFX Benchmark, and uh, it's going to test the graphic abilities of this particular tablet. Alright, you can't really see much from here, but I've put the scores down below, and this test once again proves that the new iPad is a lot faster than the Apple iPad 4, which uh, at its turn it's a lot faster than the previous generation iPad 3 and iPad mini, in terms of graphic performances. For this last test we've opened Safari, and we're going to run a JavaScript benchmark, which is SunSpider 1.0.2. Ok, so keep in mind that with this score a lower number is better. And once again, the new iPad is faster than all of the others when it comes to rendering all sorts of web, uh, web objects. And for the next and the last part of this short video, we're going to run a couple of games on all of these devices and we're going to see which one of them loads them faster. Alright, that's about it with this clip meant to show you the differences between all these iPads. As expected, the new iPad Air is faster than all of the previous generation. But if you have an iPad 4, it's not really a lot faster, so it's not really justifiable to pay another $400, $500-$600 for the new version uh, in order to replace your iPad 4. If you have the older options, then yes, the iPad Air is definitely something you should look into. But uh, more details about all this will be available in uh, the next couple of days on the channel, so go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned. I'll catch you later.